Hi everyone, let's understand by the term control variable. What do you mean by control variable? What do you mean by dichotomous variable? What do you mean by categorical variable? So we will understand in this video with the help of eViews how we can include categorical variable, control variable or we can call it binary variables. So first of all we will understand, let me just show you how we can define the term categorical variable or dummy variable. Dummy variable in regression analysis or dummy variable that is also we can call it indicator variable or we can call it just dummy. And values to these dummy variables, these are generally 0 or 1. That means they are indicating absence or presence of some categorical effect that may be expected to shift the outcome. Like for example, if we were studying, here is the relationship between biological sex and income. We could use a dummy variable to represent the sex of each individual in this study. The variable could make on a value of 1 for male or 0 for female or vice versa, whatever is the. Suppose we want to get the effect of male and female voice study. So that is our categorical variable. That means there is gender two categories. One is male, another one is female. So we just want to check whether the in the regression equation, what could be control variable? Either it could be male or female. So I mean gender wise we can do study. So dummy variable also known as binary or we can call it indicator or we can call it dichotomous. Dichotomous means di means two. Cotomous means there are two categories. Discrete or categorical variable. Any one name you can use when you are using dummy variables. So dummy variables can be called as binary, can be called as indicator, can be called as dichotomous, discrete or categorical variable. It is not about the gender. It's about the other, other factors also. Let's say you have four categories of age. You have four categories of income. Let's say you have status of married or unmarried, whether the person is single or married. So that is again a question of categorical variable. So these are the way of incorporating qualitative information into regression analysis. So qualitative data, unlike continuous data, tell us simply whether the individual observations belongs to a particular category. So let me run, first of all, in eViews, how you can add these control variables, how we can check these control variables. This is my file, one of the files, same file, GDP, FDI, and uh, inflation, and exchange rate, all these uh, variables are here. But there is two category, categorical variable. Let me open both these files as a group. So now you can see here. These, this is the file and you can see country A and country B. So these, this is my time series data and country A means whether the FDA is coming from one country and FDA is coming to from another country. So whether it is significant or not. So let me check, let me check without, first of all, we have to check. We are deleting this group. After that, I will discuss. And you can see here, quick, first of all, we are going to estimate our equation. And in this equation, let's say we are taking FDI as our uh, dependent variable that depends on GDP. And we are taking exchange rate. These are my two variables. And uh, let me... Press OK. What happened? Just a moment. Quick equation. Let me reduce my size. Then after that again. Quick and estimate equation. And here is I am just taking FDI. That is our coefficient. Then GDP then exchange rate and let me press ok yes this is the 
results of regression analysis. Results of regression analysis. Now you can see. This is the GDP that is, uh, we can see every day because uh, our dependent variable GDP is our independent variable, right? And we can see that is significant, but ER is also significant. Now we just want to check. Is th that would be your control variable also we would like to add on. So simply we will go there as to. First of all, what we have to do, we will freeze this. Right. So these results would be like that. And you can see here, these are my results. And after that, again, I'm going to quit estimating my equation or otherwise we can take it from rather than this place you can do uh, mm, again we are taking estimate equation and finally we are going to take again FDI C and GDP then exchange rate and finally we have to take one particular category either country a or country b so i'm taking country a first and let me press okay and now you can see these are our results and you can see country a that is negatively and but it is not significant because probability value is you can see that is significance value is greater than 0 0.05 so that is not significant and again now what we have to do again we will just estimate this equation once again rather than now country a i'm going to take country b country b and country b you can see and again i would press okay now you can see country b that is not negative that is positive but actual equal coefficient that we have got through country a and probability this that is again not significant so you can see here what is the data how we are going to feed data of control variable let me open this file or we will open both these files together as a group now you can see yes this is our file you can see where is country a that is 111 means data is from country a and not from country b in 2005 not from country a that is zero again 111 that means from country a and in 2009 that is zero in 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 that particular year might be this is this 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 data is coming from country b right so in that way you can add on such kind of variables right control variables so let's say country wise the, because we have we, we are having from only at a time from one country so that could be a control variable and through control variable we can check our this particular country wise style thank you so much keep watching stay tuned